Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ben here. Pretty much today, this is just a settings video for DX Tory. Uh, it's just to show you some of the best settings I've found that work very well. Um, I'd probably recommend DX Tory as probably one of the best uh, game recorders, just because it barely affects the system itself, uh, yet you can still get great video quality out of it. So, if you already have DX Tory, um, just open it up. If you don't, I'd recommend you uh, either buy it or try it out, um, both very good. Pretty much, um, this is where you target information, pretty much you click on profile, it'll pop up with the game you have running, so say if I had armor running, uh, counter strike, or tanks or something, it will just pop up here, you just click it, um, and then that will appear in game and it'll be allowing to call for you to record it. Um, then over here is your overlay section and um, pretty much obviously this shows you where you can have your FPS counter and this also shows you where your non-recording status is and your recording status um, this won't actually appear in your video it will just sort of appear on screen to give you a visual aid of whether you're recording or not and what frames you're getting then this is the folder of where you're um, actually saving your video to what you want to do is you want to click add folder and then obviously just go through where you want to save it to so I'll, I'll just put it in there and put it back to where I obviously am uh, just put it in there and then what you want to do once you've added it what you want to do is click this little one leave everything the same click run and then pretty much this will give you a target speed um, so as you can see Mine's 160 megabytes per second, it's right into that drive. So then you just click OK and that will save that as that. You need to do that to allow it to be able to obviously record to uh, the device, such as an external hard drive, etc. Like that. Um, this is also where you want to save your screenshots, but you don't have to do this since obviously not everyone uses screenshots. Um, this is just hotkeys, I have it as my uh, numlock. Um, button my lock dash key uh, you can change it to whatever you want you just click on it uh, change it to whatever you want uh, it's pretty useful um, and then this is the important bit what you'll need to do uh, you'll see this link in the description you will need to go to this website here and download the this link just here just click it download um, and then just click next 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 on it um, and that will download all for you and install automatically. Once you've done that, reopen the Xtory, and in this little drop down, you should see this setting here. Click on that, and then once you've done that, just click in here, and then by default, it will be RGB, oh, RGB. And what you want to change it to is YV12. This is probably one of the best sort of options, it keeps keeps the image quality good but at the same time it doesn't use massive amounts of uh, memory uh, obviously when recording these files uh, you can if you end up recording for an hour or so they can be multiple big, uh, gigabytes big so with this mode it keeps the quality good but keeps the uh, size down also I'd recommend if you've got a decent um, like an average so high-end PC I'll probably use multi-threading just so it makes the most out of obviously your CPU power so click OK on that once you've changed your settings to mine. Also, um, obviously, because um, I've got a high-end PC, I have mine to record at 60 just so it's very flush when you're obviously watching it and it's got no judders or anything like that. You can obviously change it to 30, default will be 30, but I just prefer 60 just because I think it looks a lot smoother. Output should already be file output like this and select it as AVI. You want to leave it like that. And then here's scaling, pretty much this will only affect the uh, recorded video so I've got mine to record in full uh, 1080p at 60 FPS so full 1080p is 920 uh, by 1080 but then if you want to record in 1280p I'm sorry 1280p 720p it would be 1280 by 720 um, so that's not full HD there's obviously that's only 720p um, so obviously that's good that keeps your uh, video size down but then it will obviously keep the quality lower as well so when you go in full screen on YouTube etc stuff like that you will find it won't be as good a quality as obviously 1920 by 1080 
but obviously with that having that higher um, with the HD side it will affect your machine more when you're recording um, but that's all we need to really worry about in this section here then come over to the audio section so usually you just have one you want to set that to obviously whatever you use to uh, listen so if you use speakers like I've got my speakers here and then I've got my headset here so you want to select your headset so after you selected your headset you don't need to really worry about any of these sort of uh, options um, then you want to press add and then this one you probably want to add your microphone uh, just this way it allows you to add your microphone obviously so you can hear um, it will have two different sound inputs so obviously when you're recording it will have your game sound input and on a different input um, you have your microphone as well so obviously if you do find any problems say your microphone is too loud after recording you can actually right click the recorded movie clip um, and it says extract audio sources and you'll find there'll be the actual main clip there along with two other sound clips one will obviously be the game sound and one will be your microphone sound so that's another thing I love about DxTory especially since if you ever need to edit afterwards you can do so it makes it very good so obviously if you want to select your microphone um, once again my headset has a microphone but then I have a Blue Yeti so I use that as my microphone just click that um, you may want to tweak around with volume give it a few tests obviously recording games speaking etc like that um, but I just leave that because I just edit it after anyway um, screenshots we don't need to really worry about you can have a look in that after um, what I recommend doing is having a quick search on your processor um, then going down to processing threads uh, mine has eight threads uh, obviously it's a uh, four cores and there's four virtual as well so um, I've got eight so you can also limit your FPS as well so if you wanted to limit it to 60 um, so it's effectively like V-Sync uh, but being locked via Dextory you can uh, pop that on I usually usually leave it off because I don't mind going over obviously that limit gives me sort of the threshold to play about with then obviously this is all optional and that's it so pretty much this was just a, a quick little guide on the best settings for well, for what I find for Dextory um, obviously if you have any problems uh, leave a comment in the comment section below um, I'm sure either I will reply or uh, someone else looking at the video should be able to help you. Um, if this video helped you at all, leave a like. And obviously, if you're not subscribed already, uh, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope you all have a good, great day. And I'll see you all later.